we had this situation where the council have voted down uh, the public inquiry, and yet, I mean, the report, the review was pretty clear. You know, I mean, th the words that really struck me, Q, was the quality of the casework was very poor. There were multiple reports from Ofsted and independent reviews between 2011 and 14 and 15 saying, you know, expressing real concerns. I mean, when did you first get a sense of the problems? And do you feel that officials were open and honest with councillors when you were a councillor when, when this was happening? I mean, I think these things happen later on, and you get to know different things about, about what has gone on. I mean, the, in the early days, maybe, the most said maybe at this point, that the, uh, the officers didn't feed the right information, and there weren't their information about. Now, within the report, they, they mentioned, I think, just taking one section, it's 111, and it's mentioned about that the, the council members were all aware of what was going on. That's not, that's not true. The council members weren't aware. And council members are only as good as the information they get from the officers. Now, the first time I, I uh, got to hear about in detail was when, when we brought in the messenger scheme uh, to protect uh, young people in, in line with the police. But quite clearly, across the, the whole sphere of it, that's with the police, the council, uh, even the NHS and also CPS, none of them did the job fully. And no, none of them covered every aspect of what it were. When we got into the messenger, we, we got more, more information about it. And then we had the, the issue at Rochdale with uh, with Ahmed, with Shabir Ahmed, and then that brought it more to the more to the fore than what it was before. But effectively, I don't I don't believe that the members knew the full detail of it that was going on, and I'm I'm fairly sure that my reaction to it at the time, other people's reaction, would have been very very serious, and members' reaction. No way would they have had it if they'd have had that information. I mean, that in itself is pretty shocking that the review, uh, in a sense, uh, is is not mirroring your experience. I mean, were you asked to comment as a councillor by the review? I was asked for a comment. I spent well, I spent four hours at the review on on, to, on to various things. Now, just touching on where I said one eleven on, on part of the report. They're obviously saying uh, they, they they had information put into that that the members were involved were, were uh, informed. Now I know for a fact that wasn't true. You know the members weren't in, in, involved with this, and it was when the messenger scheme came out, more and more of it came out, and then with, with the Shabir Ahmed thing from Rochdale, it came in again, and more, more information came out on that because I'm fairly fairly sure that the elected members would not in any way have condoned. Or even cover that up if they're known. And if I could just, I, I okay, but we just want a bit, a bit longer on that. What we've done is see the. I've also got a, got a letter which was from uh, Sophie's. I'm I'm using Sophie because that was the name of the girl. What was used in, one, in the report? One of the victims. That's right. Sophie was one yeah. of the victims. Well, Sophie, Sophie's uh, husband, who is now deceased, I believe, uh, who was a solicitor, wrote a comprehensive report. With regard to to what to what happened, you know what happened in the you know with, with it. And I don't know whether you, you want just to quote part of it, but clearly there was people within the council who were aware of it, but that wasn't the that wasn't the council eyes with the exception of one councillor. And I'm not going to read you the three paragraphs because you've got the report, you've got a copy of this report anyway. But, I mean, there was there stuff with Keith Faz, where they'd been in touch with Keith Faz before he got defrocked. And he was responsible for a, a, a government co committee. And they'd written to Keith Faz, where Keith Faz were, were treated with quite con was quite con contemptuous. Now, the, the paragraph I'm going to read is, is that the council were uh, clearly aggressive towards Keith Faz's letter and my complaint. But Jim McMahon, as leader of the council, the chief, chief exec at the time, were aware of the case. Not only did it not disclose it to the opposi opposition party in the Oldham Council, they also refused to investigate the matter seriously or take any substantive action in response to the serious concern presented to me. I also spoke to a colleague of mine who was on the opposition benches and asked them were they informed in any way at all 
about the, the CSE, and she answered quite clearly, no. So, so, so I mean, or, uh, you, yeah, exactly. It, so, it, you're very clear then, Hugh, that you weren't informed. Other opposition council members weren't informed. I mean, that paragraph is, is, is utterly damning. It, it then begs the question, doesn't it, as to whether or not actually, uh, you know, in a sense, are Labour councillors were they, uh, and indeed, are they even now, in a sense, refusing to have even more, you know, a greater, deeper public inquiry? because of their concerns about how some of their their voters might vote if there's more investigation into this? Well, I, I don't fear, and they shouldn't fear an investigation into this, because as individuals and as, as a council arts, they, I, I don't think they were, they were fully made aware of what the implication of it was. Unlike I just read in that paragraph, Richard, the two people who did know uh, from the, the his correspondence which I've got was the leader of the council at the time, and also the chief exec at the time. And they were the ones who knew, and th this was passed on. And Sean Fielding took over as leader of the council. Sh Sean w was uh, obviously, uh, maybe had been briefed or told about it. So he instructed them to go for the review. And that, that was a, a brave thing to do. But do you which, think, which, and the review indicates, and, and we always hear these, after these reviews, they've learned the lessons. Uh, before we finish, Hugh, I mean, these stories are just utterly horrific, and you sort of want to pray you know, never again. But in your view, actually, in a, do you think the lessons have been learned, and do you think that this is still going on in Oldham and 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 therefore potentially in other towns? Can, can I can I just say the the leader of the council before May of this year was a, a, a woman called Aru Shah, and Aru Shah stood up at council. And clearly, clearly said, I know that this is still going on. Now, when you look at the report, when you look at uh, Sophie's husband's, uh, you know, quite damning report with regard to the uh, the way she'd been dealt with by searching people within Oldham Council, uh, it was it's, it's quite it, it is a very very damning report. But but again, it's I, I still believe you've. You've got, got also the NHS, you've got the police, you've got the CPS, and you've got the council. And the, there's b bad things of, uh, within all the four agencies, and in particular the police and, and the council, and obviously the CPS. There was things in, in that report where the CPS didn't deal with and they should have done. Now, that maybe it comes to a time where government may have to look to, an, to a, a, a body, maybe that like the NCA, the National Crime Agency, who has to have an over overview. I think it's still going on. Arusha said in 2022 it was still going on, and she must have been aware of it in 2022. And it's going on all across the country, and there has to be something bigger as an over overview in what, what is happening with this child sex exploitation. And it's as far as Cumbria, it's as far as in the south of England, it's Oxford, you name it, and they've all got the problem. But nobody seems to be a fear of, of wanting to bring it out. And I think all of them did the right thing in it got, getting it out. Unfortunately, it came out in, in, in a yeah. very bad way. Yeah. But I don't think that council should have feared sending no. it off for an independent review. Hugh, thank you so much indeed for your thoughts. You're crystal clear.